Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 processor, LPDDR5 memory, 65 watt charging and 5G. No my friends, these are not the specs, leaked specs of an upcoming smartphone, but the actual core specifications of Realme's latest flagship killer, the X50 Pro. Now, the obvious question is, does the X50 Pro do justice to its incredible specifications in day-to-day -day usage? While it's too early to comment on that, I have a very good feeling that it will. Hey guys, I'm Pratik from Mr. Phone and in this video, I'll give you my hands-on review of the Realme X50 Pro and I'll try to answer some, if not all of your burning questions about the smartphone. But before we get on with the video, make sure to hit the bell icon and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on these awesome tech videos that we keep putting out on a day-to-day -day basis. Now that you've done that, let's get on with the video. I won't beat around the bush at all. The X50 Pro 5G is the nicest looking smartphone from the company's tables and it looks particularly handsome in this moss green color I was sent for review. Honestly, it's so refreshing to see a phone in this color palette and not the traditional blue and black colorways. And did I mention the finish? Honestly, think of the softest, silkiest material you've ever touched and the X50's frosted matte back will one-up it easily. It also helps that the smartphone's curvy back makes it extremely ergonomic to hold and grip and the weight of the phone also gives the impression of a refined and robust product. Although I still wouldn't use it without a case as it is extremely slippery. Now, while I absolutely love the design of the X50 Pro, it might be a bit too hefty for some users. Also, there's no headphone jack, which is a little surprising as I'm sure the company could have squeezed it in the smartphone's thick chassis, just like they did it with the X2 Pro. Maybe they just want you to buy their excellent truly wireless earbuds with the phone. I do hope that my sarcasm didn't go unnoticed there. You also don't get a micro SD card slot with the phone, so you'll essentially be logged into the storage you opt for. Now that's not a big deal for me as 128GB is plenty for my usage but I'm sure you'll agree that expandable storage is still always a good thing to have. Before I talk about the display, let me quickly run down the design section by giving you a physical overview of the phone. So towards the bottom, you'll get a USB Type-C port for charging along with a speaker grill which is also present above the display as the phone has a dual speaker setup. The speaker quality for those wondering is fantastic. The audio output is loud, rich and there's very less reverb on the phone's chassis when you max out the volume level. So even when you're gaming, you won't feel the device vibrate so to speak, with the volume maxed out. Moving on, there's a quad camera setup towards the back and the camera bump sits pretty close to the chassis on the X50 Pro so no complaints here either. The buttons have been positioned to the right and the left of the phone and they felt adequately tactile too. As for security, the Realme X50 Pro offers facial recognition and an in-display fingerprint sensor, both of which work fantastically well. The fingerprint sensor is just rapid and per the company, can unlock the device in just 0.27 seconds. It's extremely reliable too and I've never had to press my thumb against the display twice to register my print properly yet. Facial recognition is just as fast and since the phone comes with the lift to wake functionality, I'm already in my home screen halfway raising the phone to my face. Realme has furnished its latest offering with a 90Hz Super AMOLED Full HD Plus display too. The panel measures in at 6.44 inches and comes with a dual punch hole notch which houses the smartphone's two front facing cameras. Now, the cutout for the notch is quite tiny considering it's housing two cameras, but you will notice it. I tried my darndest not to make a big deal out of it during my time with the phone, but there's just something about the leftwards placement of the punch hole that constantly drew my attention. Also, since the notch was positioned towards the left, it made so that my notifications were pushed off-center slightly and that really triggered my OCD. But honestly, if you aren't as picky as me, this shouldn't be a deal breaker. The display in itself is quite good as you might have imagined. It refreshes quickly, making the incredibly fast X50 seem even faster. The viewing angles are spot on too and thanks to its AMOLED tech, the blacks appear really dark, making the panel appear more contrasty and punchy. I'd also like to add that if you're always in the sun, then the X50's 1000 plus nits peak brightness will ensure good sunlight legibility too. And if that wasn't enough, the icing on the cake is that the smartphone comes with Widevine L1 certification and the display is even HDR10 plus compliant, making it a godsend for movie buffs. Unfortunately, apps like Netflix for some reason are not supported on the phone, which I'm sure is because this is an early reviewer sample. So if you're going to watch this video, don't worry as the retail unit will definitely let you install all sorts of apps on the phone. 
Okay, I don't think Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 processor needs any introduction. It's the fastest mobile CPU you can get your hands on at the moment and coupled with its high refresh rate panel up to 12 GB of LPDDR5 memory and UFS 3.0 storage, you'd be right in assuming that the X50 Pro is an absolute champ when it comes to day-to-day -to -day usage. So instead of scrolling through the UI and show you how it performs, how about I show you how it really performs? Okay guys, so now what we'll do is I'll give you a quick uh, PUBG gameplay on the smartphone, uh, on the Realme X50 Pro. So uh, first thing that you should know is that uh, this phone comes with UFS 3.0 storage as I mentioned previously. So game uh, load up times are very quick on the smartphone which is great. Uh, you don't really want to be waiting uh, for the game to launch especially if you have to wait in the lobby. So now what I'll do is I'll just play a quick game of Evo Ground and uh, uh, I'll just run you down the graphic settings in a bit as soon as the game loads up. Okay guys, so as you can see the game has loaded up. Now uh, one thing that I need to uh, tell you is that while you can play on smooth and extreme frame rates if the graphics are set to smooth, if you set it to HDR, you can only play it on Ultra which is uh, one tier less than even phones like the OnePlus 70 Pro which only come with an 855 plus processor. But uh, I've been assured by the company that this, uh, by the time the phone comes to uh, consumers, uh, uh, they will uh, fix up, uh, they will optimize the game better to run on the X50 Pro. So basically what that means is that uh, you will be able to play uh, this game with HDR graphics and extreme frame rates very soon. But even with the, just let me kill this one guy here, alright he's dead. Okay, so uh, right now what I can tell you is that um, the game experience is really good on this smartphone. Primarily because uh, one, it is a very ergonomic device to hold. Secondly, it is very powerful. And thirdly, the stereo speaker setup just elevates the gaming experience by a lot. So... So yeah, again guys, no lags whatsoever on this game right now. Uh, I'm having like a ball of a time playing this game on the X50. So if you guys would want me to max out the settings for a bit, let's try to see that. So right now as you can see, this game is running on HDR and Ultra. And I instantly got killed, which is not good. Oh, wow. two bits. So again guys, no lags whatsoever and uh, this is in no way a full uh, performance review of the smartphone but it is just to show you guys just how capable the smartphone is right now. So I'll just kill one more guy and then we can get back with the video. Okay. Or well, I'll just let one more guy kill me and then we can get back to the video. So guys, uh, this was a quick gaming test on the Realme X2. Uh, so guys, this was a quick uh, gaming test on the Realme X50 Pro. So with that, let's get back to the video. Also, if you're still doubtful about the phone's performance, here are some synthetic benchmarks I ran on the device. It is by far the highest scoring phone in Antutu to have come to our offices. So rest assured, you will not feel wanting for more horsepower from the X50 Pro. The Realme X50 Pro runs the company's Realme UI on top of Android 10. Now, if you want a phone with Realme UI and a 90Hz display, then the X50 is your best bet as even the Realme X2 Pro doesn't have it yet. As for how the software feels, well, it's pretty streamlined but it does come with a lot of bloatware which thankfully can be uninstalled. It also has a lot of features baked in including a gorgeous dark mode, a screen of display which mimics an always on display and a ton of customization features. In fact, so far, the only thing that I don't like is that I can't expand notifications from the notification tray which is useful when you quickly want to know the OTP of uh, some messaging app. Otherwise, the software experience on the phone didn't give me any hassles and if you'd like to know more about the skin in depth, make sure to head over to our full review of the Realme UI. Another USP of the Realme X50 Pro is that it comes with 65W charging which according to the company can charge the smartphone completely in 35 minutes. Now, I did test the validity of the claim and sure enough, I could charge the phone from 0 to 100 in just 36 minutes, which is insane. Now, the battery capacity is 4200 mAh and it has been holding up really well so far, but honestly, would it really even matter? 
I mean, the phone can charge 50% in just 15 minutes. So even if the battery life was average, I don't really think it would make much of a difference. So for all intents and purposes, the Realme X50 Pro will not disappoint you in the battery department. With all the focus on performance and 5G, it's easy to overlook the camera specs. In total, the Realme X50 Pro comes with 6 cameras, 2 in the front and 4 on the back. So the camera specs will be on your screen now, so pause the video if you want to memorize them. So you might be wondering how the camera performance is. Well, it's really too early for me to say, but so far, I've not been very impressed with the front camera. For some reason, it's taking a bit too dull photos and the quality isn't what I expect from a flagship Sony sensor, honestly. But I'm going to rest my judgement for the full review, so stay tuned to our channel for that. Until then, take a look at these camera samples and tell me in the comments below as to what you make of the photos. The Realme X50 Pro comes with two standout connectivity features. Firstly, the phone comes with Wi-Fi 6, which per the company is 40% more better than compared to the previous gen of Wi-Fi. Now, during my brief stint with the phone, I didn't face any issues with the Wi-Fi and the phone maintained a stable connection to my office and home router. You also get 5G with the phone, which is compatible with both non-standalone and standalone networks. So with the NSA, you'll basically be able to use any 4G network on a 5G phone, which is good for countries like India, where 4G is still relevant and 5G is yet to become mainstream. But you also get SA network support with the phone, which will let the X50 Pro run solely on 5G network too. Now it's anyone's guess as to when you'll get to use 5G in India and by all means the phone might even be outdated by the time you actually get proper 5G connection in India. But it's still a good feature to have as it future proofs the phone and you can also use 5G services abroad when you travel. Now as of recording this video, I don't really know the price of the Realme X50 Pro but my guess is that it will be priced under Rs 45,000. Now if that is true then you might just be looking at the best smartphone deal of the year. But you'll have to wait for my full review to know if the smartphone is actually a great uh, buy for you and if it performs well in day-to-day -day usage as well. Stay tuned for that, that video is going to be coming up very soon.